Cigarettes are plebeian, vaping's even worse, mainstream science fiction is even more so. Pipe smoking, on the other hand, one of the few hobbies I can respect. Tips Fedora. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video for the day. Now we're going right back into r slash just neckbeard things, but beforehand, if you have not already, check it down below. You'll see that lovely blue join button. You'll be able to help support me, and in the return, I'll give you some benefits, such as a badge that goes next to your name during live chats. Yes, I do plan on streaming and doing members-only streams sometimes. You know, you might not be able to reach them benefits. There's also many other perks, like giving you an exclusive role in Discord where you'll be able to help me decide what I'm going to be making for the future. So check out the join button, and be sure to review over perks, see what tier you would like to join, and I hope to see you there soon. But let's get right into that content, you know the deal, like, comment, subscribe, let's go. Online users with cute anime girl pics, yeah this kind of might seem like a stereotype, but uh, it's a true stereotype, you know that. Oh I love your profile picture, will you go out with me? Sure thing, I'll go out with you. To all UTM students writing exams, please freaking shower, I almost passed out during my exam. That's the thing though, they'll make you pass out so that they can copy off your notes, dude. Them's called tactical advantage. You ever smell someone and just know they watch anime? Why yes. Yes, I have. I would try and fit Phineas and Ferb in here, but I'm more afraid of the mouse coming after me than if it was Onision coming for copyright, because Disney still has funds unlike him. I may be a loser in real life, but on Discord, you're the loser. I know he doesn't have a beard in the picture, but I can hear the neckbeard growing through my computer. The only reason you're not interested in 3D girls is because no 3D girl is interested in you. And I know they spend a lot of time in front of the computer, but you would think at least one of them would have figured out how to make an intelligent AI. You know, a computer girl that they can tip their fedora to infinitely. No, no, you gotta admit, this is a very neckbeard Christmas, but you gotta wonder why they didn't wish for soap. Nervously approaches with my hands clasped together, eyes shyly cast downward. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful queen. Timidly raises my gaze to you, a soft smile playing across my lips. M may I kindly ask how you are on this day? Takes in a soft gasp of air as I drink in your glowing beauty, nervously awaiting your reply. Oh, hell no. Nah. No, look, I'm 100% not here for this freaking weird Aspis roleplay stuff, so please just don't, okay? Recoils in shock at your rude and hurtful reply, tears welling up in my eyes of blue. <laughs> How can you say such a thing to me? I, I never really understood the whole point of this whole asterisk thing. I guess as you try to act out your actions in chat, but then again, just why don't you just go do it in person? And if it's a whole thing of distance, well, video chat. Some freaking douche at Whole Foods just accused me of hag spreading, a take on bag spreading, I assume, because I was spreading my stuff out on two person table. Dude seriously told me, what if someone wanted to join you despite the fact that there were at least six tables free? At which point I packed up all my stuff and got the frick out of there while ignoring him, and he said I was rude for ignoring him? What the frick? Well, considering how busy Whole Foods can be and considering that the area where they actually have the tables might as well be just six tables alone, taking up almost a a fifth or sixth of that is, uh, that's kind of being a douche yourself. I can imagine it'd be more justified if it was, like, in a really huge cafeteria and you were, like, all the way out of the way, but if it's in a really cramped area and you have all your stuff on the table just taking up space because you don't want to put it on the floor, then you kind of are in the wrong there. Being the cute couple at your school, yeah, everybody's gotta live their dream, dude. I watched the show for its lovely plot and its top-notch animation and voice casting. Look, you do you, enjoy what shows you want to watch, but if you do stuff like that, people are going to have opinions. It literally comes with doing anything outside of the norm. And boy, do some people have opinions. You flirt and kiss for what? Messing around? Love? Pathetic. To level my charisma stat. Huh, a gamer, you may pass. But we all just know you simply want to milady them to try to give them the d20, but you always forget to trap check first. Just looking for someone to talk to, and not into those small chit chats that end up nowhere. I love deep conversations about love, life, death, things that can can and can't be explained. I love to share a night with just watching friendly animations. I love anything to do with alien topics. Must own a fedora. That is a new standard I don't think I've ever heard of. Uh, yeah, uh, did she come with a fedora? Oh boy. I'm from Malaysia, actually. LOL. <laughs> Malaysia. Wow, that makes me want to die. Thanks. You're welcome. Do you guys have dangerous mosquitoes? Or do you have malaria? I'm not gonna lie, I legitimately was giggling the first time I was reading that through. Howdy, my name is Rawhide Kobayashi. I'm a 27-year-old Japanese, Jap-American, Western culture fan for you foreigners. I brand and wrangle cattle on my ranch and spend my days perfecting my craft and enjoying superior and American pastimes. Barbecue, rodeo, fireworks. I train with my branding iron every day and superior weapon can permanently leave my ranch emblem on a cattle's hide because it is white hot. And it's been getting better every day. Speak English fluently, both in Texas and the Oklahoma dialect. 
and I worked fluently as well. I know everything about American history and their cowboy code, which I follow 100%. When I get my American visa, I'm moving to Dallas to work in an oil field and learn more about their magnificent culture. I hope I can become a cattle wrangler for the Double Cross Ranch or an oil rig operator for Exxon Mobil. I own several cowboy hats which I wear around town. I want to get used to wearing them before I move to America so I can fit in easier. I rebel against my elders and seniors and speak English as often as I can. But rarely does anyone manage to respond. Wish me luck in America. I don't mean to make fun of how people speak in Texas, but you know, just, I, I tried. This must be what the whole debate for the King of the Hill sub versus dub in Japan looks like. Unlike you filthy heathens, I'm not her simply to gawk at her body. However, it is magnificent, milady. I'm simply here to enjoy a chess tutorial. Okay, but that's what the video is all about, the, ch the chess. I can't believe Taylor Swift is about to turn 30. She still looks so young. It's strange to think that 90% of her eggs are already gone, 97% by the time she turns 40, so I hope she thinks about having kids before it's too late. She'd be a fun mom. I'm sorry, what? What? What the fuck? I mean, just wait until she breaks up with you, though, then she'll make a song about you. Guys who harass women online for nudes or pay for nudes, what's wrong with the infinite supply of free off-brand you guys already have access to? Well, we never said that they were the brightest of bulbs. My son thinks that he has 20 girlfriends. How can I tell him that anime girls do not actually exist and that he needs to find a real girlfriend? He is 36 years old. Well, I mean, it kind of worked in South Park for training Cartman. You could try the hissing noise. Damn it. Guide on how to get a girlfriend from an actual girl. The sacred text. Yes, those books are going to be in pristine condition because nobody opens them. Oh, Jake, is this the guy from State Farm? 18 to 19 only. If you have a job slash work full time, I'm not interested. Looking for a fun, loving, affectionate, sweet, caring girl for a long term relationship. Let's play head or tails. Not interested if you are over 5 foot 5. Not interested if you're not in athletic shape or slim. If you do not reply straight away, I will block you. Heart face. I can't be the only one that wants to see what Jake from State Farm looks like, and not being interested because they make their own money? Like, uh, sorry that they're independent? What do you think's gonna happen when your parents stop giving you money? Oh, we got Neckbeard Jesus right here. He's got a lovely shirt. Eat, sleep, game. Wait a minute. Repeat. Some don't seem right about that shirt. Oh, you've seen so many car posts on here. This is the first motorcycle. Bet you're surprised by that. And honestly, there isn't a single thing I like about this. Like, seriously, the, have you just noticed the helmet is a furry texture, and, like, the wheels and the frame is an ungodly orange. The orange and yellow are the two, I think, Two colors I think do not work on most cars, except like the high-end exotics, and this is not that. I took my aqua body pillow to the Konosuba movie, Dakimaka Review. Yeah, well, that's the only thing. You're gonna give a little PTSD for that premiere. You know, I can't be the only one that's noticed this first, but the neckbeards wear the trench coat and the fedora. They kind of remind me of Inspector Gadget. You know, Go Go Gadget neckbeard. You can guarantee they do not know Go Go Gadget soap. Uh, I really gotta do this one? Alright, yeah, well, guess what, Onion Boy? You aren't really the Joker. You're still the joke of YouTube. You honestly make Jared Leto's Joker look not that bad. I am still waiting when Chris Hansen dresses up as Batman and comes after you, though. Why don't you just give him a chance? I don't know, because I'm not physically or mentally attracted to him and but he likes you or but he's really nice isn't going to change the fact that I'm not interested. Dang, I don't think women know how much that really hurts. Yeah, but you know what? It's honest. So last night I heard someone trying to break into my house. So I reached next to me and pulled my sword out from the ground for self-protection and right as the person saw me standing there with my sword, they just fixed the damage they made and just ran away without any of my things. That's right. Know the blade, study the blade, sleep with the blade. I just got the new Super Mario Maker. Hashtag game session. Ha. Huh. I didn't know you were a gamer. Brofist. LOL, yeah, that's me. Girl, how about we take this to PM so we can exchange Nintendo IDs and play each other's levels? What's your Nintendo ID? I'm waiting. Sigh, another fraudulent girl gamer that likes to boast about the fact that they buy games but not play them, and they wonder why they aren't more represented in the industry. Fool me twice, they say. Tell me, girl, have you even played City Skylines? No? Well, it's one of the best PC games released this year. Surely a gamer like yourself would be aware of that. What about Titan Souls? Hotline Miami 2? LOL. And don't bother replying now. Your silence speaks volumes. Well, unlike you, maybe they got shit to do. Or, you know, maybe they're not replying because they're playing the game. And, I mean, I, I never understood any of this type of gatekeeping stuff. Like, seriously, if I don't play this game, then I'm not a real gamer because it's something that you like. And the same thing goes for, like, the whole console wars thing. Like, I'll say, I like this console over this console, so we'll go out back and forth, and then for some reason, the PC Master Race dude just comes out of the bushes somewhere and says, you haven't had a proper gaming experience until you put $3,000 into a gaming computer. I'm sorry, dude. I have a car to pay. Alrighty, everybody. That's gonna have to be it for the video. If you have not already, be sure to like the video, comment down below what you liked about the video, and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Thank you for watching, and I will be sure to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.